It's been days since Kim Jong-nam, the half-brother of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, was killed at Kuala Lumpur Airport in Malaysia. So far, more suspects have been arrested and an autopsy have been completed. But there are many more aspects still to be verified. Kwon jong has our top story. A second female suspect was arrested early Thursday morning. The rural Malaysian police confirmed that a 25-year-old woman was detained at 2 a.m. carrying an Indonesian passport. She was said to have been identified from CCTV footage at Kuala Lumpur International Airport, the scene of the crime. This came a day after the first arrest on Wednesday of a 28-year-old woman with a Vietnamese passport. They are thought to be the two women who approached Kim at the airport Monday morning and poisoned him with some sort of needle or spray. The authorities are working with both the Indonesian and Vietnamese embassies to confirm their identities. News reports have emerged of a third male suspect in custody, but no official statement has been made. The police have said they're still looking for more suspects. An autopsy on Kim's body was completed Wednesday night, but the results have yet to be released. But Malaysia's Deputy Prime Minister gave a statement on Thursday confirming that the victim was Kim Jong-nam. The police up to this point had officially referred to him as Kim Chol, which was the name found on the passport he was carrying. The Deputy Prime Minister also promised that the body will be returned to the next of kin or the North Korean embassy in Kuala Lumpur once all medical examinations have been completed. Officials from the North Korean embassy in Kuala Lumpur had insisted that the body be handed over before the autopsy took place, but the request was denied. This has raised further suspicions of foul play from Pyongyang. South Korea's National Intelligence Service claimed Kim had been targeted by North Korean leadership for several years. The South Korean government has said they're communicating with their Malaysian counterparts. But with no diplomatic authority in this matter, they're having to play the waiting game as the investigation continues. Still, if it is discovered that Pyongyang was involved in the murder, they promise to rally international pressure on the regime. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.